Are the Cleveland Browns all of a sudden contenders? I mean, the Browns took a page out of the Cavaliers' playbook tonight. So if you guys aren't aware of the complete makeover of the Browns roster, this team looks a lot different than the team that went 0-16. It first was reported by Ian Rappaport on Twitter that the Browns got Jarvis Landry from the Dolphins. Then the Browns got ex-Bills QB Tyrod Taylor. Taylor's going to Cleveland. And then the Browns got Demarius Randall from the Packers sending over Kaiser. There goes that tenure of Kaiser in Cleveland. The Browns now look like a completely different team. And you're looking at a team with Tyrod Taylor throwing the ball to Landry and hopefully a healthy Josh Gordon. Then you got Demarius Randall in the cornerback position. And let's not forget, this now sets up the Browns to draft Barkley with the number one pick in this year's 2018 NFL Draft. The Browns all of a sudden look explosive on offense, just like that. And if the Browns do elect to take Barkley with the number one pick, Barkley would be the first running back to be selected first overall since 1995 when Kajana Carter was that man to be drafted at the running back position. Remember him? Oh my goodness, the Browns out here looking like a team that is going to be competing this season in the AFC North. And let me just say this, if Big Ben does decide to retire soon, are we looking at the Cleveland Browns taking over the AFC North for years to come? Okay, maybe I'm getting too ahead of myself. But I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one shocked that the Browns made all of these moves in the span of 24 hours. Oh yeah, and before I forget, Cleveland also still has LeBron James, so they got that going for them as well. I mean, today was one of those rare days that it actually didn't suck to be a Browns fan. The Browns did upgrade today. Let's 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 be real here. I mean, I know Tyrod Taylor isn't necessarily a standout quarterback that's going to lead the Browns to the Super Bowl, but he's definitely an upgrade over Kaiser. I mean, if you're a Browns fan, maybe I'm sp not speaking correctly for you, but I, I know you probably would have much rather had a Kirk Cousins, but hey, you probably still are willing to take Tyrod Taylor because we saw that he was able to ball with the Bills and Taylor still led the Bills to the playoffs. Then you look at a guy like Landry, big playmaking abilities, and you look at a guy like Josh Gordon, what he's been able to do in this league. I know, you know, his his playing time has been cut short, but when he actually is playing, he's a dynamite offensive player on the field. And then their defense obviously is going to have to get a bit better. And then Barkley is going to be the key here because there are high expectations coming in on this kid. He's pretty much David Johnson 2.0 and then some. So this Browns team, hopefully the future looks bright and uh, hopefully that statement comes true. And don't look now, but the Browns, are they going to be in the thick of things come next season? Is this a Browns team... Let me start by saying this. This Browns team is definitely going to win a game next season. So you don't have to worry about going winless again, Browns fans. But is this a Browns team that can possibly go 500? Maybe even slightly better than 500? Or is this still a Browns team that's going to go 6-10, 5-11, 4-12? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of all of these moves the Browns made today. Is this a Browns team that is going to flip the script starting this season with all of these moves they made and this is a Browns team that's going to be and I can't believe I'm saying this in playoff contention or is this a Browns team that's still going to be the Cleveland Browns and a below well below 500 football team guys let me know hit me up in the comments section below don't forget to like this video and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell so you stay notified on all the videos I upload. And if you're already subscribed but you haven't hit the bell, well, what are you waiting for? Hit that bell. Wow. I did a video earlier today that the Seahawks have officially parted ways with Sherman. They released him. And then these Browns moves came out of nowhere. 
Landry going to Cleveland at 321, Taylor going to Cleveland at 502 p.m. Eastern Time, and then Randall going to Cleveland at 544 p.m. Eastern Time. The Browns went 0 to 100 real quick. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought. And until next time, this was Luca from the Waterboard Report. If you can't play the game, talk the game. Stay cool.